Hey guys, thanks for stopping by New York's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is the Bex Premier, Premier Light Beer. This beer is 2.3% alcohol by volume. Now that, my friends, is the lightest beer I have ever had. Now, of course, it is brewed out of Belgium. No, excuse me, brewed. Um, from the Bex Brewing Company from Bremen, Germany. Although it is, this is actually brewed in the USA. It says product of the USA uh, from St. Louis, Missouri. The original brewery is in Germany, though. Um, these caps are pry off. Oh, wait. It's a real bottle. No twisty. I thought it was a twister. So I'll just take the fork. I thought it was a twist off. I got my chilled mug here. Okay. It's in the green bottle. So, you know, I can skunk up. The aroma and especially being that low of an ABB, a, ABV, the easier it's gonna skunk. Very, very clear appearance, almost like that Corona Premiere. The head is nice, and dense. Uh, spoke too soon. And it smells like a skunk. Wow, that smells bad. If you smoke pot, this is what you, this is the good shit. Ooh, that's bad, man. That smells like a, like a skunk. So you got some skunkiness. Some green, grainy, bready, biscuity, light notes. And that European pale lager scent. Um, this is a Euro pale lager, I'm guessing. America. Oh no, it's an American light lager. Okay, because it's not even from Europe. So, um, the brewery in northern city of Bremen in 2001, Interbrew agreed to buy the brewery for 1.8 billion euros at the time. It was the fourth largest brewery in Germany. U.S. manufacturer of Beck's Brew has been based out of St. Louis, Missouri since the early 2012, but some customers have rebelled against the U.S. market. Since 2008, it has been owned by Anheuser and Busch and Bev. Let's go with the taste. No head left. <clears throat> oh, and it's only like 64 calories. I believe. It says right here, 64 calories, 3.9 grams of carbs. So, not this is a pretty decent light beer if you want a beer. Right off the back, it's crisp, refreshing, light taste of barley malt. As you get lower, you don't get too much of the European pale lager taste as it goes lower. It's very light. Beautiful lacing on the glass. It's very light, so you can drink these rather quickly. They're almost like seltzer water in a sense. So very light briskety bready notes. Very, very small faint hopper at presence. Um little little buzz going on. Not act okay. Not real buzz. Not like an actual like drunk buzz. But a little little tiny bit you can feel something. Cause I'm on an empty stomach since I just came home from work and I'm super thirsty, so I drank it quite fast.
this is definitely one of those lawnmower beers. Um, I think Bex in general, um, is now brewed in America. So, people think they're getting, uh, like, a German-style beer or Germany beer. I mean, the brewery is from there, but the ones we get, at least, are from America. So, punching up rate beer, it is gets a zero overall and a nine in the style which makes no sense and I'll tell you why um also hold on before I get into that it says it's 69 essential calories on the bottle it says 64 so we'll go with the bottle but here's why the zero overall and nine in the style makes absolutely no sense because over here it says the style is low alcohol. That's what it says for the style. A nine in the, it should be a hundred in the style. For what it is is a low alcohol beer, lager, whatever. It should be overall at least a hundred in the style. Cause that's what it is. It is perfect for a low it's a low alcohol beer. That's what it is. Overall it gets a zero, which also makes no sense because it's that makes it not drinkable, but it is. It's actually it's actually quite good. I actually if you want a very light beer that is <clears throat> very light on flavor and calories, but has some reminiscence of a light beer taste, um, Bex is, this one is probably the best one that you can have. Either this or the Heineken Light. I would probably go with the Bex because it's even lighter in calories and alcohol. Um... The Corona Premier, however, which is what I had, that was, that didn't taste like anything. That didn't taste like, that just tastes like carbonated water, honestly. This actually has some flavor to it. Some flavor to it, not a lot. Very light, like I said, bready notes, barley, and not sweetness, which is good. It's just there, so there's no sweetness. It's not bitter. It's just there. A little, very tad back end bitterness, tad. It's actually very well balanced, and I like this beer a lot. I can't believe I'm saying it. I I like this Bex Light Premier. I am enjoying that. I enjoyed that. So for my final review, um, overall, oh, before I leave, Beer Advocate gives it a 2.2, which is poor. Like, that was unexpected. Um, commercial description, there really is none. It just says, only 64 calories, less than any other beer as of June 2005. Um, I, I don't know if that's changed. I don't really feel like going to look it up, but anyway, overall... Well, we'll do it for the style. For the style, I think it gets 100. Right at 10, it gets a 10. Overall, I'll give it a 90, man. I like it. It's decent. It's For what it is, it's light. You know, when I come home from work and I want to chug, down, chug back a beer, you know, I don't have to worry. Or, you know, yeah, if... This will be my first one, then when I chug down when I'm thirsty coming home, and then when I want to sit down and relax, I'll go grab my stouts or my IPAs and sip on those. These you don't sip on, you chug these. I mean, you don't chug them, but you don't you don't sit there until they warm up, because then it tastes a little weird. Um, but this is, it's a good beer to, 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 to session, like drink, but don't let it warm up too much, you know what I mean? So, that's my opinion on this particular brew. I have never had this one before. I don't even think I reviewed the regular Bex. Uh, and if I haven't, I better get on that. Beck, uh, New York, beer, 
reviews, Bex. Let's see. Uh, I have reviewed it three years ago. I reviewed Bex out of the can. So I think it's time I do the bottle version. And maybe I'll do that one next. Maybe tomorrow I'll go pick up a Bex on my way home if, you know, if it's any stores open. We'll see about that. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. As always, if you like the reviews, please rate, comment, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think. And as always, we'll see you next time on New York Spear Reviews. Also, I want to wish all my subscribers and my fans out there very wonderful, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas, and uh, of course, a Happy New Year. Even though I'm going to probably be doing another review before New Year's, but, you know, it kind of goes with the whole Merry Christmas thing. Bye-bye.